Good morning, my friends. Today I am battling squash bugs. So what I'm gonna do is I've got some tin foil for wrapping on the bases of squash plants and melon plants. I have Dawn dish soap with water mixed together in a spray bottle from Dollar Tree. Um, that's for killing any bugs I see or spraying the plant to keep the bugs off. Um, usually I use duct tape, but I'm using packing tape because it's what I have right now um, to get the eggs off of the leaves and smash them so that they do not hatch. Won't you come with me? Let's go. This squash plant was so wilted yesterday. I was so certain that it had a squash bug problem. Maybe it doesn't because it rained. Now it's looking happy again. Hi, little bumblebee. Thank you for your help. Here I have a squash that's growing. Took the wilted leaf off. Wilted flower, I mean. So I'm starting to look for eggs. See if I see any eggs at all. I see some ants. I see some damage on the stem. Right there, it's cracking. I'm going to spray right here. Actually, I'm going to crack it open a little bit. Put soapy water inside right here. Anywhere where I see damage. I need soapy water on there. Soapy water. And then I'm going to wrap it with tin foil. I'm seeing more at the base I need to spray. Okay, it's not perfection, but hey, maybe it'll save the plant. I'm already seeing some eggs, the shadow of it, going through here, so I'm gonna get that with some tape. I got the eggs off with some tape, and I smashed them, and now I'm going to check all of the leaves, and any sickly looking leaves, I'm gonna prune them off. All right, where I pruned the leaves, I saw that the damage was actually from squash bugs. So I'm actually going to spray a lot of soapy water in there. And look, here's a squash bug right here. Found one. This is a squash bug I just smashed. I'm going to spray more soapy water on it. Get those squash bugs out. I'm actually going to pull this one off because it looks like it's coming off anyway. I'm going to check it for any eggs. There's some eggs. Gonna get it with my tape. Found some more eggs. And more eggs. Gonna get it with the tape. Let the record show that duct tape is much better than packing tape, but packing tape does get the job done if that's all you have. Thank you, Bumblebee. Um, this is what it looks like when you have vine borers going into your squash plant vines. What they do is they lay their eggs near the base the larva hatch, they bore into the vine and they grow inside and they eat it from the inside out. But make sure you don't spray your bumblebee. Spray the stem. Don't spray the flowers either. Spray the stem, especially the base. That can help to maybe kill the larva, kill the squash bugs. Don't spray your bumblebee friends like the flowers. Leave the flowers alone. Here's another squash plant that I'm going to check. See how it's doing. I see some damage at the base a little bit where I've put some duct tape there but it's going under the duct tape. I'm going to spray it. Not spraying the flowers. Oh, this flower is full of cucumber beetles. So actually, I am spraying this flower because it's full of cucumber beetles. Those will destroy your plant too. Ugh. I'm pulling this flower off and smashing it. Luckily, that cucumber beetles are very bad. They also lay eggs similarly to vine borers they also will destroy your plants 
So, if your flower is full of cucumber beetles, you may have to destroy one flower in order to fix a problem that could cause an infestation. Let's check this flower. See if there's anything inside. Nothing inside. I see a squash. Hey friends, I'm over here by my giant Asian carrots and I'm going to harvest my first one ever. Let's check it out. Mmm, it is long. I think the rest of them, I'll leave them in there to grow longer time. I am going to check in here and see, see how things are going though. Yeah, they're pretty thin. They're not quite as big as they'll be. We've got our own little ecosystem going in here. There is a caterpillar, I believe. We've got ants in here. We've got all sorts of stuff growing in here, man. Our own little ecosystem in this basket so crazy we're gonna let it keep growing that was just like a tester in the middle here we've got a lot that have died i'm feeling yeah these are kind of small carrots so we're gonna wait on those interesting how the middle ones are the ones that died Maybe they weren't getting enough rain or sunlight, I don't know, but I'm gonna open it up so that it can get more, more loving in the middle there. More of what it needs. This is a fun experiment though. Grow some big carrots. a Kajari melon growing on a cinder block. Over here I have another Kajari melon growing on another cinder block. Here I have a Kajari melon that's supported by vines. Here I have one that's supported by a hammock I made. I have a video about that I made yesterday. Over there it's not supported yet, it's hanging. Some of these are supported by hammocks I made, some of them are not supported yet. I might make some more hammocks today. I'm just looking in here to see if I see any squash bugs or if I see any um, cucumber beetles because I want to kill those. Otherwise they will kill my plant entirely and I won't get anything from it. Heaven forbid. I love my little plant. I don't want anything to happen to it. So I have to protect it from these evil bugs that want to kill it. And then we have the beautiful, wonderful bumblebees that want to help and other little bugs that are pollinating. I have no idea what that is, but it looks like a good guy since it's doing some pollination, I guess. Hopefully he's good. Over here. Um, you see, this is dead. This is fully dead. You can tell this is dead. All the way to the top instead so i'm going to pull it this is a sugar snap pea sugar snap pea grows well in cool weather so when it gets to be 90 100 degrees it starts dying so what i do is i plant more as you can see this very lively one right here is replacing it and i throw the dead ones away but i want to keep the keep the growing going you know what i mean keep the growing going that makes sense. All right, but, oh, for example, we have a sugar snap pea. So what I'm gonna do with this, actually, since these are nice, big, bulgy snap peas, I'm gonna actually plant this right now in the ground. So I open it up and I'm gonna plant it right now. This one is also fully dead, clearly. It has no life left in it, not even at the top, anything. So 
This one is coming down as well. You can see we've got an alive one that is replacing it right behind it that I've replanted. So we are doing okay. You just have to be careful not to pull up the living ones along with the dead ones because they do hang on to each other. But they kind of lose their grip somewhat when they die, you know. Um, this one is still alive. A lot of these, they just have dead leaves, and you don't want to pull it if it just has dead leaves. At least I don't want to, anyway. Um, these are all living. This one is completely dead. Nope, that one's alive. This one's dead. There we go. I mean, it had some life in it, but it had no leaves. Okay, so it would have made another life. But it is what it is. I just want these all to be living and vibrant and happy and they just are not happy about it. So I'm going to actually tie this right now. My tomato plant has like sickly looking leaves. So any leaf that doesn't look good, prune it off so it doesn't spread to other parts of the plant, right? So that the plant itself can be, indeed be healthy the majority of the plant is looking very good but a few leaves are looking very bad so we just take off what is hurting the plant or what is expressing hurt <laughs> and we try to help it out no need to waste energy growing sickly leaves use your energy on growing some tomatoes tomatoes these are yellow cherry tomatoes so i can pick them like that Munch on them like that. Yeah, you know I mean? Delicious. Look. So tall. I've got some grass trying to invade. I'm going to pull it out. I just saw a ton of gnats that are bugging my tomato plant. And they're in the soil. So I'm actually going to spray them with some soapy water. I've got some banana peppers that are ready to harvest. I like to imagine that my tomato plant is giving me a tomato to say thank you for pruning me thank you for tying me thank you for taking such good care of me nice gardener now obviously that's not what it's really saying but it's you know i can imagine what i want i feel the same about strawberries and blueberries and melon plants um that's why i don't just grow flowers i grow beneficial flowers like marigolds that help with pest control and help um invite in the good bugs like bumblebees um but for the most part i like my garden to pay me back for my efforts i like them to you know if i'm gonna be pruning you pay me in a tomato you know pay me back pay me for this haircut <laughs> um so that's why i like growing food one of the reasons i like growing food and the whole reason i'm investing in growing this garden is food security you know and yeah, I love it. Love it so much. I never knew that I could grow plants or that I would enjoy it this much. Uh, let me get some of those banana peppers. There's tomatoes to be harvested. Now I'm harvesting some green beans. Do you see the butterflies and hear the birds? So awesome. See the butterflies? Hmm. Hi, little butterflies. There's two white butterflies. So nice. There's a sweet little plant named Esther. She's a flower. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. You having fun? Yeah. I love that you know how to pump your legs. How's your loose tooth doing? Good. Super loose? Cool. Well, it's oh, it's wiggling while you're swinging? <laughs> That's a very wiggly tooth. All right, I'm gonna get some green beans right here. I've got green beans hanging above my head. So cool. This is interesting. These two green beans are stuck together. Hmm. Got some green beans. 
Got some sweet girls. Hey, Joshy, good morning. So, what seeds do you have? Flowers. Turn it around so we can show the camera. Those are called marigold flowers. Do you want to plant those seeds right now? Yeah. Let's go. Okay, these are Joshy's flower seeds, and right here is where Joshy's going to plant his flowers. You ready? We're going to open it up. Dump it out right there. Dump them out, baby. There you go. Got some flower seeds in the ground. You did it, Joshua. High five. Now, when those flowers grow. Well, we need water. Oh, you want to get a watering can and water it? Yeah. We're going to have lots of marigolds right here. Okay, Josh, he's got a watering can. He's going to water his seeds. Set your cup down. It's Good job. Not and help, please, Mama. Help, please, Mama. Okay, I'll help you. We'll do it together. Bye. Yeah. Sweetheart, you have to lift it up like this. There you go. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Watering it, watering it. Good job, buddy boy. You did it. High five. You planted some seeds and watered it. Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. Have a great day. Bye.